hi, hi. Welcome back to Pole Divine's Fine Fit, which is all about five interval nitro exercises on the pole, which is sweetly useful for building strength for pole tricks. Now, before I show you what this week's five are, let me explain a little better what we're doing here. So this is a timed program, which means your first exercise is gonna be 30 seconds long. The next will be a minute, then 30, then minute, then 30, with equal rest in between. So down below in the description, I'll give a little better detail of what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, make sure before we begin that you are warmed up we want the legs warmed up the hips warmed up especially your shoulders and never forget your wrists now let's find out what this week's five interval nitro exercises are <laughs> We are going to begin with some high chopper crunches. So this one, I really, really want you to concentrate on keeping the upper body upright. Don't let the biceps loosen up and come back like this. Keep everything tight, tight, tight. If you keep this tight, it will enable you to get the core up before you bring it into the chopper when you are working on your full choppers. So it's gonna look like this. So get in position, up. See how high my knees get? I'm trying to get them up to the pole, up past my elbows. So I want you to do 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other, and definitely pay attention to keeping your upper body in snug to the pole. Okay, <laughs> exercise number two is going to be the handspring cup, cup grip leg lift. <laughs> so we're gonna be working on prepping for handsprings using the cup grip as well as working your side glutes. So this is gonna look like finger down, other hand comes up into the cup grip. So the thumb is not around the pole, it is in this position. So this hand is going to pull while this one pushes. And this is the classic push-pull of so many different pole tricks. So keep this in mind. Um, it's really good to be learning this. So here, 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 and lift the leg. So while I'm doing this, I'm pulling with this hand and I'm pushing with this hand. It's not that it's a lot, it's just helping my brain to um, wrap itself around what I'm asking it to do, which will then in turn help you in the future when you're working on tricks that require this push and pull. So 30 seconds on one side and 30 on the other. Exercise number three is going to be the lovely pistol squats. So pistol squats are the real deal, but you can use the pole to help you get up. <laughs> so you're gonna face the pole, I'll go at a 45 degree angle here, and you're going to bring one leg down and come back up. So you can do 15 seconds on one side, switch, and do 15 on the other. Exercise number four, we're gonna get on the floor and we're gonna do the classic floor chopper. So if I come down in position, hands on the pole above my head, I'm gonna start in a pike and open into chopper and then bring it down. So what I'm really after here is slow and controlled. If you do slow and controlled, you're not using momentum, thus <laughs> you are using more of your core. This is also fabulous for getting that stretch in here that you really need for beautiful choppers. Last and final exercise is going to be the lovely fan kicks. So fan kicks are great in that they really build bicep strength, core strength, and really teaching you to keep your legs straight and pointed and make it beautiful. I don't care about how high they are. I care more about them being straight and pretty, okay? So it's like a cho uh, chopper, here, here, here. Inside leg takes off this way and then around. And bring it around so you're facing the other way. 
switch the hands. Now you can do a low one instead here. All depending on your core strength and all that good stuff, but keep these things straight. <laughs> and that is it for this week's Fine Fit.